name is Ribhutu Sharjha. I'm a neurosurgeon at St. Elizabeth's Medical Center. I was born in India, moved to England when I was four years old. I grew up living in multiple countries and multiple cities in each of those countries. I went on to uh, do college at Emory University, then I did a one-year master's at Georgetown, and then made my way back to Memphis for medical school at University of Tennessee Health Science Center. After a growing interest in neurosurgery and deciding uh, upon that field, I matched into residency at a Georgetown University Hospital and Washington Hospital Center. And after completion of neurosurgery, I spent an extra year focusing in on complex cranial neurosurgical uh, techniques and pathologies at a University of South Florida in uh, Tampa. Through my residency and fellowship, uh, the spine and cranial surgical techniques uh, that I've been trained in are also uh, some of the most current um, and forefront uh, techniques uh, in our field. I really treat the whole gamut from the more common brain tumors to the more complex deep-seated brain tumors as well as aneurysms, arteriovenous malformations. I also try to treat brain tumors through minimally invasive endoscopic techniques whenever possible. Some of the tumors that are amenable to these techniques include pituitary tumors, and sometimes meningiomas that are located uh, in specific parts of the skull base. The brain and the spinal cord, the central nervous system in general, I think is almost a sacred place. Two very complex organs and the conditions that end up affecting them can be very scary for patients. Our department here at St. Elizabeth's really tries to make surgery uh, a last option. We try to manage our neurosurgical patients as often as possible without surgery. And we look at surgery um, as, as a last option uh, when, when other uh, conservative non-surgical measures have failed. And as a neurosurgeon, um, you end up being in a unique role in a unique situation where uh, the buck kind of stops with you and you have the responsibility to provide the surgical as well as as often as possible non-surgical uh, care for that patient to alleviate their fears, to reassure them that um, you're going to be able to uh, provide the best option to either preserve function, improve their lifestyle, and in some scenarios, save their life. We have a very uh, collegial interdisciplinary relationship with neurology and other surgical teams. You get very personalized care um, at a community hospital such as St. Elizabeth's Medical Center. Mm -hmm.